This is the first of a series about DIY home improvement projects on a budget. Today I'm going to show you how to build these DIY shutters. For the free plans and details on this project, visit stoneandsons.net or click the link in the description. So here is the before shot. Now since this video we've had the whole house repainted brick and all. I've taken down the shutters, the front porch railings, and so there's just just a clean slate and now I need to get shutters back up on the house. So I'm using one by material, one by six, uh, and I've bought eight foot boards. And now I'm just going through and cleaning up the ends and cutting all the boards to length. Uh, when this step is finished, I'll end up with some long boards and some short boards. Uh, and this is a very simple project and that goes together very, very easy. So the thing that I did to put them together, I wanted to put them together from the back side so I wouldn't have anything showing from the front side except the screws when I install them on the wall. So I'm creating a jig of sorts on my outfeed table. So I've got a couple of boards that I've got clamped up on the edges. I've nailed down some strips of wood to hold the front part of the shutters down on the table. And then I'll lay the long boards on top and just nail them into place. I've got my spacers there and I'm holding it there with my hand tight against the board that is on the edge of the table. Uh, to hold everything nice and tight and that's it everything's good just finish nailing everything together and making sure everything's square now i can get to the part to where i have to sand and then stain which is not my favorite so while i'm doing that i want to thank atlas 46 for supporting this project if you have been following me for very long you know that i wear uh, this vest in all of my videos and any of the projects that I'm working on, I have this vest on. It's really, really handy to have that on me at all times. So if you want to check out Atlas 46, there's a link down in the description. Go check them out. So I want to address the color uh, on these shutters. I'm using an English chestnut, but if any of, you, any of you know about English chestnut, you know it's got a red tint to it. I did not want a red tint, so I did not mix up all the stain together. I'm using the brown the top layer of the stain that's in the can to get this brown color. So all of the red is settled at the bottom and that's just what I chose to do and it turned out great. To mount the shutters on the wall, I've got to transfer my measurements from the wall down to the shutter. Now I'm going into a brick wall and did not want to drill holes into the brick so I'm drilling holes into the mortar and tapping in some anchors so that's all I should need uh, for these to be hung up they're not very heavy and so they sh it should be just fine so once I've transferred the marks I can drill the holes and then I'm gonna hold this up on the wall and I apologize beforehand because I didn't get really good footage of this uh, but you kind of get the idea here so I held the shutter back up on the wall make sure everything was gonna line up just right made my marks a little bit so I could see and used a hammer drill to drill into the mortar and tapped in some anchors. Uh, and if all of my measurements are correct, the screws will uh, be in the right place to hit the anchor behind the shutter. Now I went ahead and started my screws into the shutter so it'd be easier for me uh, by myself to hold the shutter up and then drive the screw in. Once I get a couple of them in, um, it should hold itself up and I can get up on the ladder and finish installing these and it turned out great uh, I dressed it up with a little bit of hardware and so I just couldn't be happier with the way these turned out so I'd love to hear what you guys think leave me a comment down below um, as to what you think about the color the hardware the new painted brick uh, and if you want details on this project links for the hardware that I used and step-by-step -step instruction be sure to hit that link down in the description and visit the website so you can get the free plans for these shutters. If you want to let make a little bit of money on the side, use the plans to make them, sell them, or even make them for your own house. Uh, but once I had these up on my own house, I had several people ask, hey, can you make me those shutters? So anyway, try it for yourself. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you're not subscribed to the channel. Hit the link down in the description to visit the website article. And as always, I appreciate you watching, and we'll see you next time.